710 ESPN Seattle presents Brock and Salk's Wrap Up. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Incredibly difficult day talking about Joe Paterno and the Penn State situation, but Brock, where this conversation could go next, we'll tell you in just a moment. As we continue to uh, sift through the, the carnage, essentially, at Penn State, and Jerry Sandusky, who I think we both believe will ultimately go to jail for the rest of his life, and, and, and what will eventually happen with Joe Paterno, you start thinking ahead to what else could happen and broadening the story out even more, and I start to wonder how the NCAA handles it. We've seen them get involved, obviously, in recruiting cases at Ohio State, at Miami, etc. cetera, uh, but at what point does the NCAA say, you know what, what went on at Penn State, while it was not directly directly related to recruiting uh, is still going to come into our purview by the fact that there were allega- there were things that were swept under the rug and we can't allow that to occur at a program. Well, I think the challenge for the NCAA is it's hard enough for them to handle their rule book. And now you're asking them to delve into the world of criminality mm-hmm. and, and criminal law and civil lawsuits and criminal lawsuits and everything else. I, this NCAA, and we've talked about it a bunch, can be a bungling, bungling mess. It's an enormous bureaucracy. They have a hard enough time just trying to legislate their own. Right. You expect them or want them or desire for them to get involved? I don't in know this? that I do. And I don't mean to, to come out in, in that in that way. I'm not sure I'm there yet. I don't know that this is the place for the NCAA. And I agree. That is a tough organization to maneuver. You've made this sort of a mm. battleship allegation. It's tough. To, they don't like squeak around corners. Yeah. But... Not very nimble. I think it's a conversation they've at least got to have internally, and I don't know which side they end up on it, but I can see arguments on both sides, and I would think it's something that Mark Emmert's got to discuss. Well, here's a a big difference between the NFL and the NCAA. The NFL has given their commissioner that power. Mm -hmm. Okay, Roger Goodell comes into these situations, and and some people think he's too powerful, and that hammer is too strong, and he can come in and dive into criminal incidents before even some of the criminal courts have allowed themselves the due process. I just don't think... uh, The NFL, a different entity with 32 teams and professional business. You're talking collegiate football, NCAA, hundreds of employees, enormous bureaucracy. I just, I'm going to have to hear a very convincing argument for how you want them to get involved in this mess.